What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to pick up where we left off, because we didn't intercept this army as it was marching north, um, we are now fighting one army on a defensive action rather than two full armies, which is much more digestible. We've actually recruited a North American Infantry Mercenary Unit, which is pretty neat, but as is, as is tradition, most of the army here is chaff. So let us engage this Mughal army. And we're continuing our uh, shipping away strategy. We're still in the Mughal end turn, so I wouldn't be surprised if we potentially end up not uh, getting, to, getting to my turn in this episode, because we are um, pus pushing the Ottomans on pretty much every, every flank. Um, don't like having the town in the centre, because it splits my line and makes it more difficult. But, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. So then I'll, when it comes to the flank, let's put these two guys with trenches, one guy with cavalry defences. Then, put an infantry unit like so with cavalry defences, then a gun team. I never like putting them in their little defences because it reduces their firing arcs massively and you do it early game against the AI all the time where you just walk around them. Oh no, sorry, you were the unit that was here. So let's take another unit, again trenches, one on the flank, deploy troop thingy. These guys deploy. I don't know. Troop thingy here. Get our cavalry ready. And Leopold ready. How it is in theory doesn't matter if you put them in cover or not. Because I think they can still pivot, so it doesn't really matter. A lot of my artillery is going to focus on their artillery, as is tradition. Obviously my quick climbing how it says I wasn't actually that quick on the draw, because I'd rather have you go after the cavalry. You guys are okay at attacking the guns. You haven't got to worry about the enemy elephants for a while yet. Get his cavalry out on the flank. Just gonna charging. Lots of artillery near. Okay, that's one gun team wiped out. You might actually shrapnel shot the general's bodyguard. You guys can continue to attack the enemy artillery. Form square. These guys are going to die hard against the spikes. Oh no, they're going to skirmish us very well. Okay, charge the horsemen. It's my nifty little Mormon trick. Then come back this way. My guys are wavering, but I mean, they should... Well, they will come back. Oh, what happens when elephants run into these? Interesting experience. It looks like the same thing as what happens when cavalry runs into them. Hey, why are my gunners gone? I think that experiment is a bit of a fail. I mean, they'll come back. They've not lost any men. You guys form square because everyone's bodyguards upset. This flank here push up aggressively, including the cavalry. Yeah, you'll come back. Okay, cool. That's a unit of bowmen shattered. Get the cuirassier away. Start to blast 
these incoming units with canister shot. Yeah, I knew you'd come back. No worries. The gunners, I mean, they were quite sure how upset they, why they were so upset, but never mind. Get the, all my quick line to work on the flank here. You've broken a unit of levy. Instead, come back and hit. Well, don't hit the Sikh warriors. Get up here and hit the bowmen. Generals come in and hit the square. Who are they? Levy. Go get them, Carassier. Get my dragoons after the artillery. The enemy is retreating in force. You men pivot against the Sikh warriors. Let's get my general. Ah, they started to come back already. You guys knock out that unit of bowmen in pretty short order. That'd be great. Dragoons go after the guns. So you men blast the bowmen there. You men blast the Tufangi there. Let's get a horse guard unit to come smack the Sikh warriors. Let's get a cuirassier unit over here to hit the, the basic, hit the mercenaries. You guys hit. The artillery, horse guards, get over here. You men get over here. General's getting bogged down. Understandably, you routed because of the general's bodyguard. You men are going to pour musket fire into the general as well. Obviously, you are also upset. The general's fallen. I don't know where you guys are going. But their general's also going down in pretty short order. Obviously they've come back. Let's get the light cavalry over here to hit the levee. Because the Curacier are a more important unit to attack. You guys hit that unit of Tufangi. You guys charge the levy. You guys get in here and hit that unit of Tufangi. And the general get in here and hit the Sikh warriors. Yeah, you guys will probably come back. More infantry here, so our cavalry's hit the levy there. We need to knock out the Sikh warriors, but they're very good. So my general needs to just tie up their ma the, the massive infantry there. That's right, how it says. Yeah, see, lots of these units are routed, but they're actually in pretty good shape. Chase them down so they're shattered. Clone your line, yeah, charge, why not? So you guys, infantry, form up. General's bodyguard, get out of the way. Curassier, get out of the way. Infantry, form line. They're shattered. So two fangy and bowmen back here. Curacier, get back. Because we have a quite significant amount of infantry here that can do good stuff. So let's get our cavalry back out on the flank. So you guys should open up on the levee. There we go. You men are opening fire on the bowmen, so let's get you guys to push up more aggressively into their flank. So my general's bodyguard, get them just to chase down enemy units. Curacier, get them involved. Artillery, you guys drop shells onto the bowmen there. 
two fangy here are are going to route. They're not going to do too much more damage to my dragoons. Let's begin to pursue. I mean, artillery fire is not going to do too much to help my cause at the moment because they are in full retreat. So now let's chase down and destroy. So Leopold Beaumarchais was sadly lost in this action. Lost but not forgotten. Go on, break, Tufangi, break, so my men can slaughter you as you flee. There we go. Damn right I'm going to continue. Real bloody action, this one. Keep my generals out of targets. Go after that unit. Although, to be honest, it looks like most of these units are going to escape, sadly. Except that one, obviously. Ha. But all of you guys can go after this unit. Although there's only 17 of them left, so hopefully these guys will be destroyed also. Yes. Yes, you can't recruit too many more armies like this. Yes. Excellent. Cool, oh, that was a bit nerve-wracking. There we go. We lost our general, but we killed 4,183 enemy troops. Uh, no, withdraw. <laughs> withdraw. <laughs> um, don't want to fight the same army again. And they have fallen back, which is good. Yeah, you can try and skirt around us. Ooh, no, I don't want to intercept. I want some more replenishment. No, sir. So the front line is toughening up. Opportunity to intercept, yes, because that's just this guy. They're not getting any other reinforcements in, so I'd be silly not to do it. Like, yeah, that would be foolish if I didn't do that. Continue the war. But yeah, so right now, we can really we really see how, even though I've landed a quite a significant amount of troops to the south, they have the ability to pump out large numbers of troops and really start to wear you down. That's why I was. it's so important that I get my northern flank engaged and this army that's not done men much fighting at all it's probably an army recruited out of either Sri Lanka or from Calcutta with our generals. Some howitzers are a bit depleted. My line is also a bit depleted, but not enough to make a huge difference. Just blast their troop, just blast their line with shrapnel shot. Curassier up front. men pivot so as to not cause undue problems keep blasting the Hindi musketeers you guys blast you blast the horsemen and you guys blast the bowmen 
Quick climb the camels, quick climb the musketeers. So my cuirassiers will likely should whittle down these horsemen in due course. Desert camel mercenaries. Okay, fire it will now. Engage. Send the camels back. They will likely return. Push up my left flank. Yeah, this. Yeah, they go. They're going down. Start to hit them with canister shots here. Ooh, Hindu warriors. No, actually, no, 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 no. Not Hindu warriors. It's not good. Hindu warriors are scary. You go switch to shrapnel shot and start to chase them down. Let's make sure our howitzers are also persuading them that retreat is the better direction. You guys hit the bowmen there. Yeah, Hindu warriors aren't terrible. So we need to really mob and destroy them as quickly as possible. Keep blasting the Hindu musketeers. No, light cavalry run away. Horse guard chase down the enemy, pull my left flank back. Yeah, my general had to die. They gotta die. They can't just not get involved in actions like that. You try quick line the two fangy. You blast the Hindu musketeers. The horsemen are upset. That leaves just the Hindu warriors who are also upset. Or becoming upset. Get my company cavalry out there, lest the upset becomes contagious. Attack the enemy at range. You shrapnel shot to Fangy. Keep the company cavalry wave waiting for the Hindu warriors to fall. So all of you, Sans cavalry, get back into line. Let's chase down the bowmen. You guys go after this unit of levy. Uh, go after the units that are advancing on you. have to chase them down actually that much more. I only wanted them to shatter so they didn't come back. Human folks on the Hindu warriors.
Just a round shot, folks, on Hindu warriors. I mean, they're shattered, so you guys get back here to fight against the levy. Okay, you men chase down that unit of Tufangi. You guys pivot against the Hindu musketeers. Bring this front back in. Kill the levy. Kill the levy before the Hindu warriors get here. Oh, they're holding ground. Run! Get my company cavalry to charge the levy. See if I can make them route with another cavalry charge. No, they're not having any of it. Yeah, you guys have fun charging the Dakili. You guys get over here as well. Start to charge down that unit of bowmen. Okay, good. They did. Okay, they didn't like it. So run my cavalry away because they're the sort of juicy target these Hindu warriors want. Yeah. That's right. Chase down my light, squishy cavalry. Isn't that exactly what you want? See, they're only walking as well. Got a few kills there from... Shrapnel shot. Oh, if you were to rout, that would be lovely. Kill him! Cease fire. I think there might be one quick climb shot inbound, maybe. Damn right. I guess that's two units to try and knock out the. Oh, you still, you still have some musket, um, ha uh, foot artillery firing. Yeah, you tr try and get a handful of them. But if you can't, come hither and try and knock out some Hindu warriors. I mean, it looks like they pr might escape because they've routed in a, they've split up. Although, to be honest, they are <clears throat> they are dying rather quick. No, they're going to... Oh, no, actually. They, if they carried on running in a straight line, they would have been okay. But they did not. Yeah, they're done for. One guy left. Get him! Chomp. Good. Good, 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 good. Yeah, it's still quite a meaty loss. And again, it's another general that I've lost. Yeah. But then again, they, the, the, the Mughals can't really do anything else. If they don't attack us, then we will just attack. If they don't attack us, we'll just mass and attack them. So they can't really win. So you guys can attack Jaswant Bora. My God, that's a lot of troops. So you men knock out that army and then go finish off. Well, go help pin up Mr. Barar, Sergio Bacara. You might be replaced in theatre. Obviously you need a new general. Maurizio Carducci. Take position at the trapper post. And then these armies can act as bodyguards protecting the crossing completely. Good. We don't want to push. Well, actually, we want to push our line. Well, we want to move our line up. We aren't pushing. We're just moving up our front line. Because look, like, look, Boston's ripe for the taking. Obviously, you need 
Yeah, you need units. So Leone Amoroso is going to hit the uh, is going to hit Boston. I mean, so sometimes what what happens here is that sometimes a recruitment problem that's gone wrong. So if I attack the garrison, they've got nothing inside. So if I demand the surrender, well, they've got very little inside. Yeah, they took the surrender, but the yeah, that full army still exists. So let's replenish here. And then, because then obviously you've got guys here as well. I mean, these are our ports now, so... Um, okay, we probably don't need those sick crates there anymore, unless they try and run around us to help block... Any flanking maneuvers? You're going on a long way around. Because, I mean, if you're trying to attack that guy, it still makes you go around. So even though there's a connection here, it doesn't seem to work. So you... are going to march towards the enemy. The Mount of Tribal Auxiliary are going to lead trigger any ambushes before we get there okay so let's take this army that currently took boston for free and attack saeed kachwaha which looks like it's not going to bring this guy in but still that's another full stack of mughal troops that we can attack and destroy we're slowly hammering them back but i mean we do have our invasion of the deep south coming in this turn i think Because I've got each turn set to be it's four turns a year, so every turn is three months. So let's put. Uh, three units in the middle. Ooh. Interesting. The left flank is... Ah, there we go. I, was about, I thought I only had one infantry unit to deploy on the left. And I was like, uh-oh. That might cause us some issues. But we've also got buckets of cavalry. Fear not, Boston. We are here to protect you. We have liberated you from your Mughal oppressors, and now meet your Italian oppressors. I mean, they're all going to focus on the 24 pounders, and that's okay. Boom, 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 and they're still moving, which is great. I'm fairly sure quick climb is pretty useless against guns like that, at least in the long term. So you guys, well, let's start to pick pick our quick climb targets. Okay, so I might push push the cavalry up on the right because then we can align our defences a bit more like this. And you guys both focus on the horsemen because you never know if they're going to attack or not. Quick climb focus on the left because they are well, largely focus on the left but it looks like they are massing on the left. Shrapnel, the musketeers coming straight in. You guys, shrapnel. The levy, you guys, shrapnel. The musketeers. There is a unit of artillery, but might get the riflemen to deploy stakes just in case. 
Some cavalry slammed in to the levee. Yeah, they fired into the combat, but that might help us out in the long run. They haven't killed any of my heavy cavalry, so let's run my heavy cavalry away. My regiment of horse chase down to make sure they die. Shattered, so call my rifle from the back, pull my pull my scouts back, my riflemen cease fire. Blast that unit of musketeers. Ooh, a bit of a dodgy combat that one. Native Lance is gonna do some good damage, and they got Sapahi as well. So we really the objective here is to withstand the charge and kill them in the follow-up combat. Okay, now you can fire at will. Okay, round shot. Yeah, so the hope is if we can withstand the charge, we can do quite nicely against them. Quick climb. Really need to try thin these guys out. We need to push on the right flank as well because we've got that advantage. Ooh, okay, this is not going to help. I might lose another general. Okay, get these row from out of the way. Good, the Kizobashi are routing the levy are providing a bit more sport. If you guys can shatter them, good, you can carry on. That's unit of levy destroyed. General's fallen. Keep pushing up. We're winning, generally, in the combat. hope you can engage the guns to the rear. Those guys are routed. Okay, good. So now you can pivot these guys. You men pivot. That's the levy dealt with. Go on after the foot artillery. You guys just cease fire. General's bodyguard can stick around now for a while. Is that the gunners dealt with? What you guys can do is they're going to hold. Our line is going to push up. And they're going to form... They might form squares ahead of where they are, so now these units can run, pull their cavalry through the square. I mean, yeah, that General's Bodyguard unit's routing, but I want you guys to run. Pull the cavalry into our squares, which we where we can annihilate them. Some of them might get killed by spikes, maybe. All of our howitzers fire round shot. Engage the general's bodyguard. You men hit the levee. These riflemen come back here to f 
potentially fight against the levy. That will not be the objective, but it's the out potential outcome. Form square. Because the native lancers have almost been defeated. You men charge in. We might be able to knock out the native lancers, which would free up another infantry unit to join the engagement to the rear. You men charge the bows. You men charge the two fangy. All my howitzers engage the general's bodyguard. Kill the general. swarm the enemy in the center the levy are broken this unit of levy is almost broken and there we go and the sipahi are also broken so you men retreat except for the regiment of horse you continue you men charge into the rear of the bowmen all my artillery cease fire. How goes my other? Yeah, you did win. And we're going to continue again because we've won. We may as well continue the attack. We we'll do as much damage as we can while we replenish inside the walls of our city. There we go. It's always nice being able to kill a unit, because that's just... It's not a fragment they can replenish, it's not something they can combine with other units, it's just gone. And that's quite nice. Oh, you might get the bowman. You might. You might. Come on. Come on, get him. Yeah, you're not going to get the two fangy. And that unit over there is running around near the border, so I'm going to let my cavalry they either kill it or they don't. I'm going to try and just knock out this unit here. Oh, it's the la this unit's the last unit now. Good. So again, we've taken another hit, quite a significant hit. General's down, we've lost a infantry unit. Seamen are punished, one of our heavy cavalrymen can become the new general. And Yellow Grimaldi, a soldier from birth, he's a little sergeant and a happy drinker. Good man. So you guys can only recruit militia, but I'll take militia. They're going to hold in the city. You're going to come over here and act as a bit of a bodyguard. You're not going to attack this army. You're going to be here to support the, uh, the city. I mean, they could get attacked by one of these armies, but I would like them to try and come at me, because especially when we've got quite a few units that are depleted and a fresh unit still to uh, to arrive. Yeah, so here's the invasion force of the south. So let's land them together. Well, the forces that are coming in from overseas are going to land their armies near Florida. So I think that'll probably be a good idea to take Florida, push south, push north and take Savannah, Charleston and also try to fortify this gap between this ridge of mountains here and the Gulf of Mexico. So land your troops. Oh, actually, you, your port's not secure. Either way, I'm not going to 
land troops in there. I want them all to be safe with no enemies behind them together. Group these ships together. I mean, put them into the dock just to wind them up. Then we've also got three... I mean, three armies isn't a huge amount. We've got another army here, to be fair, actually. So... Third rate ship of the line. To Carlo to Storre. Just land them all together. That's the safest option. Land them all together. Then next turn, they can begin their final attack. There we go, that's a lot of firepower. So you're still waiting for... Oh no, you're done now. Sweet. Let's bring this third rate back. There we go. So how many ships, how many armies is that? That is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awful lot of firepower. Landed in the south. That's right. You better do something about it, Mughal Empire. So that's probably all of these guys. Just check them to make sure. Don't want to hop over to India just yet. I want to just check my, my check my infrastructure spending. So my sort should be okay with us leaving the city now. Minus one, that's okay. Um, Ceylon, it's a global trading company. So do you. You men push up here. Yeah, we can have a lot of fights this turn. So you secure the bridge. We could potentially sprint towards Ahmedabad, but we've got a couple of armies here to watch out for, including some Gurkhas. So you men cross the river. Two of these armies are going to push that way. One's going to head this way. Because we have a some armies to deal with over here. But we've also got some uh, bandwidth to expand a little bridgehead over the river here to the north. Let's see if that triggers any attacks from Lahore. And let's also take our army out of Srinagar. Yeah, they're okay with it. They can also march to the south. But we gotta, yeah, it's gonna be one of those, um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna have to fight from. <laughs> well, we're gonna, we're gonna be fighting a lot. Let's just say that. Let's leave it at that. But let's take this army here to go hit Miraz Daraz. Bring in some reinforcements, but we can push this army back. Here. And then we've got, well, there'll be two more fights near Bengal, but hopefully we can maintain now a bit more offensive momentum. Um, and really take the fight to the enemy. Really, that would be... Well, we, we, we have to. There's no ways about it. Um, the more we squeeze the enemy, the, the more concentrated their troops are going to be. So I want to get... A division of troops, a brigade of troops up onto this hill. Maybe deploy one set of guns to the rear, firing shells at range. Deploy two on the right flank where the ground is a bit more open. Deploy three units on the ground. Three units can go push the right flank. I'm losing a lot of generals, but it's because I'm fighting these melee armies and I need to... Okay, right, so they're all exclusively on the left. Oh, and I didn't deploy my howitzers again because I'm a dummy. Doesn't matter. 
we've got the dominant we've got the dominance on the right flank so we want to use it so then my artillery engage as as they wish which will be to slam shells into the enemy artillery positions. Artillery shells inbound. Ooh, done a real number on that artillery team. That's what happens when you sit there wandering around, not deploying your infantry. Hello, General's bodyguard. My cuirassier will kill you if you come any closer. Come on, how it says, climb that hill. Horsemen are coming in. They're going to get engaged by my musketry, including musketry from the Swiss Grenadiers, no less. Okay, you guys run because they're starting to advance. Twenty-four pounder foot artillery is gone. Don't hit the Islamic swordsmen. Hit two two fangy better than nothing. But really, I want them to try and go for musketeer units because they are going to sit there and try and engage our line. Muskets reloaded. We've got Hindu warriors out on the right flank. Yeah, there they are. And Islamic swordsmen. Okay, good. We've got one howitzer in position. Unlimber. You men make ready and fire. Oh, take a bit. Take more time. Quick climb that unit of musketeers. I was about to advance these guys up, but they are going to get into range of these dervishes. You men and limber. You men and limber. Here come the Hindu warriors. Nope, but they have been engaged. Second rank. Fire. Oh my god. That's the kind of fight you want to see against the enemy. Sure, they've got a massive swarm of men coming in, but... Dangerous quick-climb target there, really, but... Oh, point-blank range into the muskets, yes! That's right, back you devils! Horse guards could get the dervishes. Oh, look at that. General's bodyguard all the way at the rear, so they get my artillery to fit my field artillery to start focusing on him. Get the hussars to the rear. To be honest, get my crossier to the rear as well. General's bodyguard. Get over here. If my cavalry can knock out that unit of dervishes, that'd be great. I think they might be getting shot at by the infantry, so I don't want that to happen. Charge my general into them to try and make them right, route. Okay, go steady. Ok, 
Okay, the enemy general's been killed. So the quick climbing howitzers focus on this concentration of enemy troops on the right. But the left flank has completely dissolved. Yeah, dervishes are good units to kill. Dervishes, or Islamic Swordsmen are a good unit to kill. Dervishes are an okay unit to kill, really. If I'm being brutally honest. Good. All of those troops have now gone into the center. Oh, I do see those Islamic, those um, Hindu warriors. Danger close, quick, danger close, quick climb there. Okay. Danger close, quick climb is not fun anymore. Curiosity I can deal with the enemy enemy elephants. My Asas could chip away at some of the Islamic swordsmen. General's bodyguard, are you still trying to kill those dervishes? And I'm aware that my cavalry is being chased by a Islamic swordsman unit, so that's why I'm gonna push up a unit of line to give them something to think about. The enemy general has been oh, upset significantly. Field artillery. Engage the Hindu warriors, or at least attempt to. Fortunately, they have elected to, cho to chase down my heavy cavalry. So once that unit routes, we can spin them around to quite nicely chase down that unit of Hindu musketeers. Although my light, my hussars might try and go for another unit. Cease the artillery fire. Two units of cuirassier are going to have their way with them. attempt to. I lost a good few numbers in that initial attack, so they could they could do some good damage to my cavalry, but there we go, that second Curassier unit's gonna seal the deal. Damn right we're gonna continue. Not that we're probably gonna do that much more. We're not gonna do much more damage because so many of the units are close to fleeing anyway. There we go. Nice. Still a good victory. I'll take it. I'll allow it. Lost 118 men. They lost nearly 4,000. So Nicola and Rizzi, you men replenish. New port emerges in Montagne. Two ports. That's not bad. Let's upgrade the pleasure gardens just to keep them chilled. We've done all that. Not bothered about the raids. Obviously, two. Two. Um, oh. Claudio Bianchi. You men take this. Then you men are going to advance. Probably take, take out Patna. Then again, you, Daniel Pache, my auto resolve Ali Pani. Yeah. 222 men lost, that's not bad for an auto-resolve. So, question is, if you guys push and hit Ali Suresh, 
does that bring in this army here? Potentially. Potentially. Let's find out. So you move you to just within range. Nino Chetti hit Ali Suresh. Yep, it does bring in this enemy force here, but we also do have more reinforcements of our own. So let's do a bit of swapping around. Maybe drop a unit of cavalry in there somewhere. We're really not going to be worried about our artillery for now. Um, but looking at the timer, this is going to be quite a hefty battle. And I think we're going to win the episode here. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the destruction of hopefully two more stacks of Mughal troops in India. Cheers everyone.